All right. Good morning, everyone. We'll play some Death Shadow today. <clears throat> Something weird's going on with my computer. I didn't get it worked on. So the Stream Decker has one faith that's looting in, but I, I cut it for a Thought Scatter. Besides that, the deck's all the same. So we're just going to jump back into it. <clears throat> Not really too much to talk about. The deck hasn't changed overly a lot since the last time I played it. Currently in a league, I was warming up. I, I beat Jund and then lost a pretty close one to Dredge, which was pretty fun. I actually like playing against Dredge. Like, <clears throat> it's very... The games where neither person blows the other person out are actually pretty interesting. First time catching you live? Oh, well, nice. MTG Forest. Yeah, I get a lot of that. I get a lot of people that are like, oh, this is the first time. It's like, YouTube's just easy. Don't pick on me for my computer glasses. Been playing a lot of Moto recently. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. Sand could be pretty solid if we get a something to point this dismember at, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Alright, so island could be blue white control or storm. So let's at least get an idea. We're playing against mono blue tron. So we don't say. Alright, we need to get these death shadows in play ASAP here. Oh yeah, I can see that. We don't want either of these. Again, we just have got to get a shadow on the battlefield. Hopefully we don't get chaliced here. That would suck. All right, let's see what they're drawing. Draw another power plant. It's going to be a pretty slow start from the home team. Power plant. Let's just take this thirst for knowledge. If they want to riff something, they can riff something. The thirst is going to find them their fourth Tron piece. I think it's fine. Like, like you, you most of the time you don't interact with each other, which makes it kind of hard to tell like what's going on. All right, so we can get nasty, but they're gonna. I can either snap Inquisition this Cyclonic Rift. Which I might as well do. There's no point in getting nasty. And that also means we can dismember our own Snapcaster Mage to turn on a Death Shadow. If we could play like more than one threat, I would think about just like playing Angler Shadow, like, but we still can only get one online. We have to hope that they never really hit Tron. Green Cloud Rock, the Rift and Dirt Liverpool. Nice. Those are two solid decks. I mean, the Rock deck's like decent. Yeah, so we're just going to attack, dismember our Snapcaster Mage, and then play three threats. Bobble, bobble, I guess. Snapcaster. <clears throat> what do you got? So is my opponent dead? If I dismember my shit this, these become eights, eight plus eight, so not quite. If I hit a way to deal myself damage, then my opponent's dead. That works too. So let me think. Eight, thirteen. Battle Rage the Angler is lethal. And I can keep my dismember to fight through a worm coil engine next turn because it won't gain six life. I think that's the right thing to do. Cause like I could just go dismember battle rage. And Battle Rage of Death Shadow, but 
but like if I if I battle rage the Gurmag Angler, and they have a way to respond to it, they just bounce Angler, and I get in for eight. Hang on, I just, I, I I know there's a way that I can beat a resolved Wormcoil Engine next turn. I just want to attack in such a way that allows that to happen. So if I battle rage the Gurmag Angler, they Cyclonic Rift it. And then I dismember the Gurmag Angler. My shadows become eight. They go to two. They play Worm Coil Engine. Worm Coil Engine blocks one. They gain six life. They go to eight, and the shadow is still eight damage. So we are just going to battle rage the Gurmag Angler. <coughs> When's the next? Uh, regionals next weekend. Currently, five on the two, three round modern events. The, the Rock deck's decent. Yeah, well, I just want to, like, um, I want I want to be able to beat, um, I want to be able to beat like Cyclonic Rift into Wormcoil Engine. You bend the Rift. Yeah, I know. I know they don't have a Rift, but I'm just like sitting here, like, how do I lose? And if they repeal a Death Shadow, I just dismember it. And we're in good shape here. Where do you go for regionals? Uh, Baltimore. Baltimore being just, I don't know, half, about, well, I guess depending on traffic, it's like an hour from my place. So this is going to be a bit more, a bit weirder sideboard plan because, like, they're, they're the version. They probably have, like, Trinket Mages. They probably have Chalice. And they'll probably have Relic. I really don't like Snapcaster Mage against these decks. I don't like Fatal Push. And I don't like Lightning Bolt. With that being said, I've got too many cards to bring in. I don't really mind cutting like Snapcaster Mages for Surgical Extraction purely because like Surgical Extraction fuels Delve, fuels Shadow, and gets them dead. Bunch of ones and thirst help them find them. Utron is like a commander deck. Well, we can't we can't interact with the lands, but gotcha. You're not sure whether we're doing Jersey or Balt. Both are around the same guy for me. You gonna go with Zach? There, Joe. It was a good episode this week, by the way. You should you should like post your podcast in the link. I pay for Joey's podcast, so like I think it's pretty good. Like, Snapcaster Mage isn't really a way that I'm actually going to win, I don't think. And it might be better on the draw, but especially if my opponent gets, like, way deep in Relics. I'm going to try this. I don't play with Surgical that much in my sideboard, and I do like how it's kind of on theme. Um, You can cast it also through Chalice to deal yourself damage. I could cut a land and keep a lightning bolt, but we did bring in two threes. I'm going to try this. These easily could be Snapcaster Mages, but I don't really like Snapcaster Mage very much against Tron. I don't think Dismember is that bad. I think, I think everybody that takes Dismember out of their Shadow deck cuts them off a nut draw. Because, like, you just dismember your own shadow. Or, and then all of a sudden your shadow goes from, like, two power to six. And that cuts a turn off the clock. All right, we're going to keep this. There's no threat, which is a little sketchy, but I think it's tough to get rid of, like, re free redraw, redraw, double hand disruption, and then a counterspell. This also hits Solemn to me, Icon, which is kind of cool. Okay. Nice. So we hit a second land. So now all we need are just things to do. So they kept Condescend on top. So we're going to start with an Inquisition because they might uh, not have a way to... Um, they might need, like, one more piece. Stinger Visions. Whoa, they kept the card, they put a card on the bottom. Let's just take Serum Visions 
Like, if they hit a blue spell, but blue land is pretty bad all the way around, because Condescend is pretty annoying. All right, we go. We can stop doing that. That would be great. Yeah, it's it's good. You guys, you guys don't ramble. That's the biggest problem with podcasts is that people ramble. Um. So let's say hell in a handbasket. What happens? So I can pay for Condescend with my Shadow. So we're just going to take Wormcoil Engine. Wormcoil Engine is just the scariest card for them. Dude, I appreciate the support, Mr. Dalloway. I have this... How how can I be trash, Brandon? This, this deck is literally labeled Dalloway Shadow. So I'm going to thoughts. I should have, I messed up. I should have thought scoured before doing anything because my opponent's not going to have a play that I can stroke next turn. So we might hit another threat and I should have just waited. All right. So now we're going to play shadow and pass. <clears throat> Do we have draws that like kill our opponent next turn? I guess if we hit like, Street Wraith. We we don't need two Street Wraiths. Or Thoughtseize. Alright, so my opponent's going to be Troned up next turn, but it's going to be like a slow Tron unless they draw it. How was the GP, Brandon? Uh, so 8, 12. Okay, so we can actually just take this Sundering Titan. And then crack in, play another Shadow. And then if they, if they play something, I don't think... I mean, I might be boneheaded. I don't think they have a draw, because if they get a card that allows them to, like, use their mana... They can't do that because of the map. So. Oh, you cut 30? You cut 30 to 35 minutes? Okay, well, you edited it well. That's the biggest problem with podcasts is that they, they ramble, and I can't listen to them on, like, one and a half or two times speed. Didn't feel like it. Are you still down there today, Brandon? I saw Dylan did pretty well. 6 and 2. 6 0 into 6 2, though, kind of feels bad. That's a good way to start the stream. All right, I will be right back and get some more coffee. <clears throat> From everyone I know, only one person made day two. Well, that's that's how GP works, right? Like that's how the odds are. Alright, I will go first. I'm on the die roll. Then again, all the pros on KCR and Sean. Yeah, Death Shadow. Humans, that's weird. Pro, I mean, I, I don't. I guess I actually don't know how the humans Tron matchup is. I would assume that humans can handle Ironworks, but Ironworks does have a lot of hate for him. This sands a heater. If we get a point this dismember at something, we're gonna be in. All right, so we're gonna see our visions on one. Like, 
It's kind of gross. It always feels a little gross doing that, but there's a chance we don't get to cast this dismember, and I don't really want to piss away a mana. And we can just kind of, like, plan to go linear, I think. I kind of want the second land, because I would, like, now that we have Thoughtseize, we want to be able to have access to Snap Thoughtseize, and it's just more damage. So I don't think that we're going to be able to get nasty anytime soon, though. So we're going to go like this. We're gonna do anything but snap serum visions. We don't like we don't do that on this stream. Losers snap serum visions. Alright. We're playing against the old colonnade deck. Well, this is annoying. Yeah, so I think what we're going to do, we're going to take this path, and then we're going to try to maneuver some way to where we kill our opponent before they can turn on any of these counter spells or this Cryptic or this Jace. Because next turn, we take, we go fetch. Next turn, we crack them for four. They're at 16. They play at a land. We can then dismember our own shadow to go eight. So four, they play their second land. Sixteen, they play a third land. I think we're gonna need a little bit of help, but <clears throat> or blue white, yeah. I mean, we're gonna take this path. I didn't think that I wanted the angler after drawing the thought seas because, like, we have Snapcaster thought seas, and I was like. I kind of like just going like full, full moron head in the sand when I don't know what's going on. And like, Dermag Angler doesn't necessarily do that like super, super well. At least in conjunction with like Thought Seize and Snapcast Mage, because I can do myself a lot of damage and like doing myself more damage against an unfair deck. That's, that's what I thought, whether that's right or not. Is up for debate. See, okay. I kind of want both of these because I might be able to chip in enough damage. I think I can just kill my opponent next turn because if I lead with Gurmag Angler, then. They probably counter the angler, and then I just battle rage them for 16. I do kind of want the lightning bolt because bolt snap bolt might be a way to end this game too. So I think I'm just going to put both on top. Let's attack. I should have stacked it. I don't think I stacked it right. No, I definitely didn't stack it right. I should draw the bolt. And just fetch it away. I always miss that stuff. I always miss like the things you can fetch away. Because like I don't ever want to keep a fetch land when I've got serum visions. So I usually miss those lines. I just never think about that. I never think about like manipulating a fetch land with serum visions because that's like I've, I guess I've got that like ingrained in my head to poo poo it away. So they're going to Fetch, which means this hollow found's not going to be here. We're kind of just hoping that they don't hit like a terminus. They hit a terminus or like a path to exile. This is going to get kind of hard. Yeah, I stacked that the wrong way. There's definitely a chance that my opponent just lets Gurmag Angler resolve and. So that's what they drew. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> I don't know. I should not. Like, I, I was just sitting here thinking, like, I, I wanted that lightning bolt on top of my deck, 
but it wasn't on top of my deck, which is what I was communicating about. And then while communicating, I just zoned out and didn't didn't do it, didn't do it right, or didn't make the right game action there. So I think that my opponent's dead. If they had path, they would shock themselves or play the island so that they could path plus interact. <clears throat> Let's cast. I'm going to cast this first. Um, we're not snap serum vision. We might end up having to snap serum visions. So let's like, it's probably better than the dismember. So let's just go like this. <clears throat> We kind of have to counter this. Okay. All right, so now I'm just going to crack them for eight. I don't really want to just like walk into this negate or this logic knot. So let's just whack them. Okay, well now we're going to definitely battle rage here. Click on the bottom. Did you hit a path? No. <clears throat> yeah, I figured that if I, they were at eight, they'd be at seven. So if they crack a fetch, like Bolt Snap Bolt is lethal while while they're answering the board. Okay, so against the control decks, Snapcaster Mage can get blanked by Rest in Peace, but like we're going to have 10 ways to handle a turn 2 Rest in Peace. So we have these 6. I don't want my fatal pushes. I don't want my battle rages. And I don't want my lightning bolts. Yeah, this blue eye deck's so bad. I like to keep dismembers in because it like it supercharges the draw, like we saw, or it handles Lyra, Lyra or Bane Slayer Angel, which I think they're a little lower on than they used to be. But if we want to go six for six, if we just want to go like a straight. Seven for seven. We can go like this. Brutality is whatever. And then just have less removal. We're kind of walking into rest in peace, but like we'll just have to be cognizant of that with our um with our keeps. <clears throat> Thing in the ice. There's graveyard hate everywhere, Harry. We're gonna go like this. And we're just gonna pay attention and like think long and hard if we're if we want to lose to rest in peace or not. Magnus Lantos on camera steamrolled blue white yesterday in round four. It was <sighs> Brandon, I see you talking about Teferi on Twitter. If you're playing standard decks with Teferi, you should let me know. I love me some Teferi, and I I lose. A lot. I lose in standard. I have to farm tickets in modern to play standard. <clears throat> yes, yeah, blue eye deck is just like, if my cards line up, it's insane. Come on, dude. Don't say things like that, Freedmania. All right, so we can handle rest in peace on two, so we're gonna keep. This hand's decent. Like we uh, we need a removal. We need a way to, we need a, I can't speak. We need a threat, but we've got some manipulation. Not a lot of interaction. Get Carney boy. 
I played a fog deck a couple days ago. Um, I kind of want to. I don't really want to thought seize on turn one because I would like to hold up stubborn denial. And if they don't do anything, I want to thought scour because then we can like potentially get nasty with a thought seize on two. I played a fog deck with um four carnage tyrants in the board a couple days ago, and like. I beat the tar out of every single Teferi deck. And not much else. So that's the problem. All right. We're just going to go get another watery grave to not to give my so that my opponent doesn't have the option of cutting me off of a color if they field me. And we're going to fight over this dot seed. If they have a counter spell here, then we're gonna we're gonna make it we're gonna definitely stub it. Okay, what do we got? It is kind of annoying that we turn this on. I feel like the black green decks in standard are just not where I wanna be because it looks like if they built if they're built wrong, they suck. I mean that that's what it looks like watching it play out. Like, if you get a black-green deck that's got the right amount of Chupacabras, the right amount of Carnage Tyrants, the right amount of Varaskas, then, like, it seems pretty solid. But if you, like, guess wrong, then, like, it looks pretty awful. So we can take Snapcaster Mage and then Serum Visions, which I kind of want to do. They could mess up my shuffle, and maybe because they could mess up my shuffle, then I want to, then I want to just thought scour. But if they mess up my shuffle, they're still raising themselves on turn three, so whatever. I don't want either of these. So next turn, I can go <clears throat> Collective Brutality. They'll likely counterspell it. If they still win themselves on... <laughs> what? Well. They put a card on top. Search. They are searching for Escanta. That's kind of a good draw, right? That's good for the home team. Because now we take this path. And we really hope they don't chase me. Kind of blows about drawing the forest. If they want to spend their entire turn bouncing my shadow, then, like, you know, you can do that. So they can't draw land plus, like, Jace next turn. So we're in a pretty awesome spot. I don't think this card's very good right now. Like, because, like, do you have this and Rest in Peace in against me? Because, like, this is this card's just not very good if you have Rest in Peace in play, which Rest in Peace is better than this. Like, I think this card's really sweet, you know. I think this card's really good in, like, pr it's probably pretty solid in Jeskai, because you can find bolts and crap, and you can, like, activate search and do something. This, this blue-white deck is just, like, the biggest pile of clunky bullshit that you've ever seen. That's an island. Not a forest. Did I did I misspeak? Did I stutter? <clears throat> yeah, but like, I don't know. Tapping out for four mana is just so mopey. They ditched an island. Interesting. Oh, so we got, we're just like absolutely golden here. So 
Okay. Who cares? All right, we're this is cool. And now it's like, what are you doing? Because I don't know, like I, I could just get browned, I guess. But then also you've got like logic knot. Like logic knot's really good. That doesn't really work with search either. I could have thought scoured, but I kind of want to be able to like. I don't really want to get stub. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have serum vision. I should have thought scoured because I can like lean on their turn. That was wrong of me to do. I should have waited. I mean, it's not good, like, you know, but also, what are you going to do? You're going to, you can't take these cards home with you. You're going to die with these cards in your hand. That's the biggest, that's what I, I hate that more than anything in magic is dying with spells in my hand. Like if I'm on, like, like you got it, like you can't go down with this. There's no sense dying the richest man in the cemetery. They should just keep their graveyard intact. <clears throat> All right, so the last card's cryptic. All right, this is where we're in trouble. They're going to be able to cast it. Dude, if we hit a Snapcaster off of this, it's going to be so sweet. So they're going to keep that on top, which means they're still a bit further away from flipping their search. The problem is I don't necessarily think they have the luxury to wait for something that matters. Like their hand is so reactive and so glutted up and you can't even cast this Cryptic Command yet that... If they just sit on their hands, they're not going to lose. Like, or they're going to lose. Like, I, I really don't mind doing something like that. Oh. That was nasty. So let me wait. That was a sick draw. Sucks we don't... We Do we have a Snapcast Mage bring that? No. So let's wait for them to keep that land on top. Because if we do it now, they, they bin it and the search flips. Oh, wow, they kept it. Okay. So they can ghost quarter themselves to cryptic this if they want. Which they're just going to go counter bounce my shadow probably. Well, I was saying they, they would be able to cryptic if they kept this on top. <clears throat> yeah, this search is going to suck, though. Because now they're going to go, like, counterbounce. Because that makes the most sense. There's no sense drawing. And if they go... Okay. I mean, we're kind of out of gas. I'm pretty alright with this, though. They could go counter draw. But I think counter balance is a better play. Because you just want this to flip. Yeah. Ooh, they went... They cast Cryptic, carding Colodon's Command, and Death Shadow. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so Drew Field. I probably didn't have to play this land. But, I mean, it does mean that if they, like, mega brick, that they just kill them. 
Yeah, it's like how much card advantage you need. You need search first Kanta and ancestral visions. It's like Jesus. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I don't know. We drew these goddamn bobbles in the late game. God, Mistress Bobble is sweet. Does a lot of good things, but when it is bad, it is bad. Oh, this is bold. You can find that. What do you got? You probably got three more pass. You get the D. I'll get to take care of that. I can answer the D. I think I'm going to fetch, even though it gives them, like, information. Like, I really just, even though it's pretty minuscule, like, we're, we're, on the, we're on the verge of losing this game. And I would like to, do I want more black sources? Claw, no, we'll get this one. And I, I would like to um, not draw another land. It's pretty minuscule, but... Did something. All right, we can get nasty. That's actually pretty awesome because na like that draw, the nasty's lethal, so we have two lethal threats. No, we ain't gonna do that. And we're just gonna go full retail here because you know. All right, we made it through the draw step. Super important. So, like, Snapcaster Mage gets us. Now. Oust. I guess Oust gets us, unless we find a way to deal damage to ourselves. This is good for the home team. Unless they drew a land. No, because they can't even find Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, they're dead. Nice control deck, bro. There's really nothing that makes me feel better than when you're like that derpy tempo deck, that derpy creature deck, and everyone's like, dude, we, the control decks always beat these decks. And it's like, no, that's just not how it works. Like, how are you, br like, bringing Cryptic Command to a Stubborn Denial fight is just like, it's just not good. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out today. We already got 44 viewers. You guys are awesome. You all are awesome. When is when's the chat next uh, modern event or standard event? Standard is freaking sweet. I can't win playing standard, and it's it's probably like it's probably because I have like a really unhealthy relationship with Nexus of Fate. I played this deck yesterday and actually kind of liked it. The problem is is like. Like I don't I don't know how standard really works right now. But I found this deck beat the control decks and the green black, but not really anything else. Like I felt like even even after like like, green-black would do their thing. Sometimes you don't find the right way to beat them, yada, yada, yada. And, like, they have their Planeswalkers. They have their Carnage Tyrants. And it just didn't matter. So that was nice. Where it was, like, sometimes I've played the... Re I've seen, like, the regular Jeskai deck. Like, if something punches through, then you're in trouble. But I don't think this deck's that good. Which kind of makes me sad because I love this card. Like, this card is sweet. This card lets you win games out of... That, you like, you have no... You have no right winning. Are you prepared yet now? Um, but it was just kind of worse. I think it was worse in the regular Jeskai deck against all the aggro decks. Even though I did have a bunch of sweepers, but like I played two seal away because I was worried about um, like a Danto Vanguard. That card kept bodying me.
Dude, the dog is good. Never go full retail. He's he's taking a nap right now. We actually just got him a new toy yesterday that he's already destroyed. Uh, here. This is a heater for, but if we're playing against humans, it's not that good. Yeah, that deck lost to Dondo's Vanguard all the time. It definitely took me a second, and I was like jaded because the old blue white control deck was an awful matchup. What do we got here? Dredge time? Yeah. All right. So I think we're going Fetch Shock. Because we need to get this Shadow in play. <clears throat> and we also need to, like, hit a Disrupt. Like, it's going to really... Like, I'm going to feel like shit if we put a Dredger in the graveyard here. But after two... Faith, like, ditching a Faith of Looting makes me think that they have a Cathartic. Okay. God, dude. Big Brain Hub just absolutely doing it. <clears throat> yeah, the Spreading Seas version of the deck was so much word. Brandon, Brandon, when we're when we're streaming here, we don't sweat the details. <clears throat> okay, so they ditched the Faith of Slutings. They still have Stomping Ground, City of Brass in hand. If I get a Shadow down here, and they go land, if they hit, because they're going to be able to dredge four, they're going to be able to see so many cards that, that if they find a Con Flag, I think I'm going to have a really tough time with but if I also just don't play threats, I'm also going to have a really tough time winning. Because they're going to dredge Thug. They're going to be able to look at, they're going to be able to put six cards in their graveyard, essentially. And what, they play three con flags? So they have three out of 52 and six shots at it. But am I winning if I don't play Death Shadow? I don't think that I am. So this is where the rubber meets the road. I'm going to get a steam vents. Hold up the steam vents. To do a little like bolt myself pump fake. And they might think about it. Stop yelling at my phone. All right. Not going to be, but whatever. That brings the Amalgam back, which is kind of annoying. But it's, like, much better than seeing a, a con flag. All right, so step one done. They didn't hit a con flag. And we're going to stub this flashback looting. It is really nice that we have a Snapcaster because now if like we get a lot more looks at Team or Battle Mage. Um, okay, so what do we know about their hand? What do we know about our opponent's hand? They've got a thug in their hand. <clears throat> and I, I don't mind just thought seizing this thug or inquisitioning this thug because it's important to just, like, they're going to be able to dredge anyways. And I like choking off their, uh, I like choking their, uh, can't think. I can't think. I can't think. I can't think. It, like, if we keep the cards in their hand lower, it makes the con flags worse. <clears throat> so I'm probably just going to discard the thug. Like, playing the Snapcaster Mage naked is not going to do anything.
There's a chance we definitely just die doing this. Because we go to nine, like if they flip a lot of blood gas, the blood gas are lethal. So maybe I just want to wait. So they like flip, chill, chill. Yeah, let's wait. We'll hold this snack caster to block. Let's not do anything too hasty. All right, nothing. They dredge an imp. Okay, so they hit a chill. I probably should have thought more, and I shouldn't have thought scouters, because like being able to go snap, hit this looting would be important. Because now they're going to dredge to the moon. Risk factor. Huh. That's cool. I don't actually know how good it is, but it is very cool. I got daylight savings. Thought I had to leave for a PPQ, but I have an hour. Oh, nice. My dog woke up at 5.30 today, and he usually wakes up at 6.30. Okay. In a bit of trouble here. I should have played my fetch land, though. I might not play my fetch land, especially if they just block. Like, I don't really want to take very much more damage. I really want to snap Thought Scour. But I need to make sure that like because I'm gonna have so I'm gonna play this fetch land, not crack it unless I have to, because I need to make sure that I can one shot them. Alright, so they hit loam loam. So it's kind of a weak hit from our opponent. <clears throat> Risk factor. So they don't have they don't have any imps. They don't have any not imps. They don't have any Whatever the dumb card is. Um, whatever, the blood gas. I can't let them draw three cards. And the question is do I want to snap stub this? I don't really want to snap stub it. I think I just let this go. They attack, flash my Snapcaster Mage in, block Thought Scour. And then I get to crack them for 10. They don't have any other ways to deal damage to me in their graveyard. So we're just going to let this go. I think that, like, we definitely lose. Like, we're definitely in trouble here no matter what. But if we let this go, we can actually win through a block if we hit Battle Rage off two draw steps. Oh, they have one blood gas. I did not see that blood gas. No. No, I just didn't see this. Then I definitely should have snap stubbed. We still can hit. Yeah, so we're going to fetch here, leave this Blood Crypt open, and we're going to flash Snapcast. Oh, no, I, I can't fetch because the swamp's in my hand. So what can I do? I can't do anything. Oh, my God, I just straight punted this. I just didn't see this Blood Gas. All right.
All right, we're going to fetch. Because this is what we would have done. And then we'll, like, we'll scoop it up. And then we're going to draw. Let's say we just stub this. Yeah, this was just, like, a super punt from the home team. I just didn't see this blood gas. I was even, like, checking it out. Oh, we're super dead. Like, I, I didn't see the blood gas. Like, I, I made my play assuming the blood gas wasn't there. So we take a draw step. All right, doesn't look like we would have hit. But, no, I, I, I punted. I 100% punted. I just didn't see it. So we want the anger. We want the surgical. I don't really like fatal push. And I don't really like the Snapcaster Mages because they sometimes hold in their own lane lines. <laughs> Rihanna killed us. I think we're going to go like this. I want all my threats. I want the Street Wraiths to be able to like one-shot them if we need to. We still have enough removal. So that we can, you know, clear away a blocker or two and get in get in like a chip shot so that we don't have to one shot them. Yeah, this is what we're gonna do. I know Ben I should talk to Ben Jones. I know Ben leaves in his Snapcaster mages, so I wonder what he takes out. Maybe he just takes out more removal, which I could see that being legit. I'm gonna try that. If this is game three, I'm gonna try cutting the dismembers and leaving in two Snapcaster mages. I'm just such a huge Dismember fan because it's like a removal spell that supercharges your clock or it just supercharges your clock because you just smoke your own shadow. All right, let's turn two shadow with the stuff in the dial. So we're going to check out our top card. If we like it, we're going to hold up stubs. If we don't, we're going to thought seize. I don't think we like this. All right, let's figure out which right, which fetch lands right. To make Mr. Dalloway happy. Oh! Thank you very much. I appreciate you. All right. I want to take this face of sleuthing. They hit another land drop. The lightning axe is good, but I think they only play like 20 lands. So I think we're just going to take this looting. It would have worked out better for us if we would have gone hold up stub. I guess there's actually no, well, so we go looting, they conflag, ditch their stuff. Yeah, there's a guy. You get this best emote on Twitch. I think I'm going to take their looting. And if they want to ditch conflag with their first turn, they still need to hit a second land. And if they hit a second land, we can just play around. Like, we can just stub this. All right, that's not a good draw. No, do not. I think it's two L's. We figured that was going to happen. All right, let's go get Blood Crypt so that we can have Anger on three available to us. And I think we're just going to play the Shadow. Because things that matter if we cycle into... Street Wraith, Surgical. So we've got three draws that grow the Shadow. I could Thought Seize them, but then if they hit a land, it doesn't matter. I want to be able to stop them all. So we're going to play the Shadow. There's a chance that they, like, dink around and don't deal enough damage 
to this Death Shadow, and they might just like upkeep Lightning Axe the Shadow into and then ditch the loam in order to dredge. They didn't do that. Sounds good. I think we're going to let this go. I guess I could cycle now. If I hit a second Stubborn Denial, then I still am going to let it go because I don't want to get Lava Axed. All right. So unfortunately, we're, we're going to go for this here. It kind of sucks that, like, it's going to be three hits regardless. Two shots regardless unless we hit a Death Shadow. Unless we hit a Team of Battle Rage. <clears throat> Why would you cycle first? Shiv 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 okay, so get the dredge back in. Driven into spear. I've seen that one. What they do? They dredged. They shouldn't have dredged. They should have just taken a draw step. Just play this land so we have two stubs up. Okay. Um, I don't think we want the angler. We do want this. They don't have any. I, mean, I guess we just attack. Is there any point in not attack? Is there any reason to not attack? With the battle rage on top, how do we lose? With two stubborn denials and the rage, I guess like if they have some way to like manipulate the top of my deck, we lose if we don't do this. But I might just be you know over the top here. I don't think they can put enough power into matter. Because, like, I can go fetch shock. I can put myself to four, which makes this nine, 18. No, I'm just going to attack. I don't. How do I lose? They can't even do it because if they dredge, they're not dredging back a land. So even if they dredge in, like, I lose to, like, triple whatever. And that's the only way that happens. Their Shriekhorn can point at me. Okay, then I should attack. I did not know that. <clears throat> I think there's Stone Cold to your likely... Yeah. Yeah, because they have to... Like, they have to... If they dredge, they're not going to be able to return lands. And if they take a draw step, they're not going to put any dudes in the graveyard. And we can just deal with it. So they target themselves. So again, you have to take a draw step. Okay, so they dredge chill. So they don't, they shouldn't chill. I'm going to not show them Dismember because that's like a debatable card to keep in. I think Battle Rage is non-debatable, so I'm just going to Battle Rage for the win. Again, this is okay because my Shadow is 9. Yeah. So they're just doing this so that this sees this. Yeah, it's a good play. They can't deal with it anyways. Because, like, some people, there's an argument, I mean, even we were talking about, there's an argument to signing out this number. No one's ever going to sign out Battle Rage. 
Yeah, that's what I, I came to the conclusion there. I just wanted to make sure. So we've up both of our stubborn denials. Another way we could have lost was to Vengeful Pharaoh, I guess. Because I can deal three damage to myself, make this 12, and they could have blocked. Yeah, if they had a Vengeful Pharaoh, we could have died, right? Or no, I would have just assigned all 12 to the Narc Amoeba. And then... No. Yeah, I would have just assigned all 12 to the Narc Amoeba, and then the second 12 to them. I think. Okay, so we talked about Snapcaster Mage. I kind of like shaving an angler on the draw because they have lava axes. Yeah, I, I did, Drago. I was just making sure that like we were all set. Yeah, I mean, Caradome, like the way that you get up is. Okay, so like I, I talked about Drago. I didn't want to dis I didn't want to play dismember because there's like I thought I was going to go to hear the wife sing. No, I decided not to today. Um I didn't want to play the dismember because there's an argument to boarding it out. So like they might not play around it where it, it dismember can be like backbreaking. So I decided I didn't want to show it to them. They know battle rage. We could board out a couple of lightning bolts. I kind of want to try two Snapcaster Mages, and I don't really want to get rid of a Gurmag Angler. I think we're going to try this. I don't know if it's right or not, but I think, like, Surgical Snap Surgical is, like, so good that I should at least give myself an out to try it, to get it. I appreciate everyone that showed up and hang out today. Had a subscri subscriber, a couple follows, so I appreciate all of that. From everyone, you all are great. Up the Grim. You play Grim Lava Mancer? Whoa. Uh, we're on the draw. There are hands like this that always make you think. Because you're on the draw. They mulliganed, which makes me a little more... So, like, I think a big thing that cuts that makes me want to mulligan this hand... I'm going to take a picture of it because I think it's worth thinking about. Is because they mulliganed, we have a really explosive either shadow or angler hand if we hit a land. We get three looks and then four looks. What makes me want to mulligan this hand is because it doesn't have a discard spell and our opponent mulliganed. So I think I'm going to ship it, though I think there's like an argument to keeping this because it is super explosive. We have, a, we have an angler and a snapcaster and a way to an angler. So basically if any of these cards here were a land besides the Gurmag angler, I would keep this hand. But I think I'm going to mulligan. And on six, I'm going to keep this. They go to five. Jeez. I like this because we have a stubborn denial. They get to four. Dredge can win on three cards. I mean, I don't think Dredge... I'm not really sure they can win on three cards. But... Like, their deck does something that is difficult to interact with. They put a card on top. So... We need to take a look at it. So we should just check it out here. I guess we should cycle first because we might want to mess with our top card. All right, come on. Didn't quite get it. They put a Dark Blast on top. <coughs> I have two. All right.
Do we serum visions or stubborn denial? I think a cathartic reunion is really big for them. They would need land cathartic in one of their cards, Dark Blast. So that's a lot to make happen. So I think we're just going to like try to find a black source. All right, that is a black source. Do I want more lands? I don't think I want steam vents. Steam vents just isn't a black source. Though they're probably both okay. And then we'll do this in their upkeep because we're not doing anything. Yeah, no, dude. Basic land island. Holy shit. I played builds of this deck where I where I board the island. So we're gonna play the shadow because we're gonna give ourselves the option to um dismember our death shadow. They're going to be able like, it turns on their Dark Blast. They should try to go um, Lava Axe and then Upkeep Dark Blast. That works as well. I think I would have ditched the Amalgam there. But, you know, I'm no dredgeologist. They shouldn't dredge. They hit a chill. This is the nice thing about playing Death Shadow. Like they, he, I don't think my opponent can cast this. Like I think you just have to let this, like, keep this in the graveyard. Yeah, it's a good play from the opponent. We are getting hammered for keeping this steam. Steam vent's so bad. Island is the worst land in the deck, and um, steam vents is probably the second worst. Good play. I mean, it saves them some damage. Keeps their dredge going. So because we have two Gurmag Anglers, we're going to over delve by one. Because we would like to be able to um, cast the second Angler. And we're going we're gonna to dismember our... More than likely, we're going to dismember Shadow. Alright, well now we're not going to dismember the Shadow. My opponent keeps dredging. I don't think my opponent's dredging correctly. Yeah, they just scoop it up. Nice. So we hit the 4-1, which is sweet. We keep winning in modern so that I can lose in standard. That's that's how this goes. Okay. We're going to jump back into another league. I'm going to keep the YouTube video, too, because we only played two matches in that league. We're not going to make any changes because we don't want to. So we lost to Dredge. Beat Dredge, lost to Dredge. That's kind of how the league went. We beat Jund, Blue-White, and Mono Blue Tron. So, like, a decent league. Kind of just, if we get to switch the Mono Blue Tron with, like, a humans deck, then that's... Yes, we did 4-1, which means I can lose two standard leagues. I think that I want to, when I play the standard deck, because I'm not, I'm not very good at standard, I think that I either want to like play a Teferi deck when Teferi is good, because I think that, I, feel, like, I don't know if I'm like super correct about this, but I feel like the Teferi decks, especially when you play like Star of Extinction, are very far ahead of the Black-Green decks but don't really beat much else. And like, I don't want to, I don't want to like, I don't really want to play black green because I don't think that I'm a very good standard player. And I think you need to like pick, have the right 75 with black green to do well. I think if I can like get the right 75, then I would do very well with black green. But it's like, what happens if I show up with like four chupacabras and it's like, 
mono tar carnage tyrants and teferis. But if it's nothing but like goblin, uh, rat if it's nothing but like chain whirlers, then I would love to have chupacabras. This hand, we are shipping it. Because like this is essentially a double volume. All right, we're going to keep this hand. This is why basic swamp is still better than island. I'm going to give my dog some water. I'll be right back. When I win the PTQ, the problem is, is that the I'm not I'm probably not playing standard until the Invitational. That's the next time I'm gonna play it. Though I might lose less on Moto. All right, so it looks like we're playing against Storm. Storm is a solid matchup, but we need a little bit of help. Our hands, obviously, when you've got one land, it's a little anemic. Hopefully, we get to dismember a bear next turn. All right, we're just going to take the better cantrip. I wonder if that's a mulligan for my opponent, if they're supposed to mulligan this kind of hand. Because it's just like nothing but air. Like cantrips, cantrips, there's no bear or real mana. But I guess like, if you're going to mulligan cantrips playing Storm, then I, I, don't, I don't really know what you're doing, I guess. So we're going to get this old dismember coming in hot. As soon as I can point this dismember at something, I'm going to. They hit a serum visions. There's an argument for me to take the pyretic ritual there, maybe, when I took the serum visions because they hit another cantrip. Didn't think about that. It's like the unique part of their hand, so maybe my thoughts he's like wasn't that good. I put two cards on top. It's a little scary. Jeez. All right, so we're going to get the big bad steam vents. Their hand's actually not that black. So we don't really have to, we don't like need a watery grave. Um, 13, I don't even want either of these. Because currently our shadow, though if they give me something to point my dismember at, this shadow's the same. Is this shadow better than a random draw? So how am I going to win? They have five cards. They just went double top. So what would they keep on top? Like gifts I'm given, past and flames, or a bear? I'm not sure a bear makes sense. Because if we go land Thoughtseize and don't play spells, then we have removal. We don't play lands and we have like mono removal. Though we are far enough behind, so like where we can make it so we can likely kill our opponent in one shot if we hit another red land. Let's bolt ourselves battle rage. I'm gonna put this on top because it just it just is gonna murder the clock. I didn't do like the hundred percent math. So you know, like we, we're a little fast and loose here. Okay, this makes sense. So now I feel stupid. And we'll likely lose because of it. Because see, like my line couldn't be gifts, but it's like gifts or a bear. So I'm just gonna try to cut off their mana because they can go one, two. Yeah, let's just try to like cut their mana off. So they got Desperate Ritual, they have Pyretic Ritual, Past in Flames. So I think we just bolt ourselves, shock myself, play A2-2. So are we, be are we winning anyway? So they play Bear. <clears throat> they play the Bear. They go Mana Morphos into Ritual, and then I kill it. They get five mana. So if they have a land, then I'm dead even through. This makes them two, five. 
pass and flames down to one land ritual ritual yeah they might not be able to we're gonna play one <clears throat> Okay, there's the Electro Boy. There's a land. I think we're pretty dead, but we're going to fight the good fight. And Storm's a good, like, this is a pretty solid matchup, but Storm's a very good deck. They're going to have six mana. So. Now they're going to have seven mana. Down to three. Ritual, Ritual, Metamorphose twice, and Gifts Ungiven. They're going to have more than that. They're going to have seven down to three. If they're still doing this, it's not good for Orange Team. Unless they, like, get greedy and gifts. Oh, they repealed their Electromancer? Green. Grape shot in the yellow. That was, that was pretty sweet. That was a very nice play from my opponent. Just hitting this. Replaying it to get the storm. I guess they didn't even really need to replay replay it to play the storm count. <clears throat> we got worked right there, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> okay, so we want stubborn denial. Brutality, Anger of the Gods, Snapcaster. I like cutting five pieces of removal. We might not cut that many, though, because we have Brutality that will still hit. On the play, I'm going to keep a Gurmag Angler in. On the draw, I'm going to cut a Gurmag Angler for a Fatal Push. We want Fatal Push because they board Thing in the Ice. I don't really like Surgicals because, like, I just don't think – I think it's overboarding. Like, I think our other cards are just better. And I like I like the aggressive Angler starts. But on the draw, especially considering he doesn't get under Remand, we'll, we'll cut it. Though they might board out their Remands, but this is what we're going to do. I hope the chat is having a good day. I appreciate you all for showing up. Watching me with my, my nerdy computer glasses. What are you looking at, Phil? Dog's just looking out our window. You like Surgical more than Anger. When they turn into a Turbo Goblins deck after Sideboard, Freed Mania. Yep, shipping it. Oh, this hand's not very good. This hand's not very good at all. <clears throat> all right. Hand's pretty explosive. I mean, they shouldn't be able to goblin me, but that's that's the number one way to lose after sideboard. In my opinion, is to get goblins. I like having four answers to it. What are you drawing? You're drawing a lightning bolt. I don't think we we, we can't win with this. We we need we need lands and disruption. <coughs> On the play, you will, I think. All right, so actually, we're going to be able to get nasty. Even though we mold to five. We have until next turn, so.
Yeah, this isn't bad. We're going to leave both of our spells in here. And hopefully they don't echoing truth me, but if they do, they do. Oh, we hit a stub? Holy shnikes. Dude, sometimes you just get nasty. If we hit a land, too, like, if we get to stub something, and then we hit another land, and we get to go snap stub, we might be doing it. I'm going to stub a pieces. Like, the pieces is going to, okay, that's still not great, but it's attack for five. Pieces is going to let them, with that much mana, Pieces is going to let them overpower whatever they think I'm doing. And more of mana, more of us bolt with heal. So we got to take empty. Because all I need to do is hit a land. There's nothing we can do about that. So... Even though they can go like Brawl, make mana, make mana, like, they're just not going to do anything. Okay. Well, that was a draw. Big draw step from the home team. I'm going to play out a shadow because if they bolt the shadow, they're not bolting my head. And the, this might make them like, they might go for something a little more greedy now. And I really don't want them, like, if they don't, if they don't, like, they bolt the shadow, they're not going to be able to kill the angler, and then they're going to be in the vest. Oh, that was stupid because of the repeal. That was so stupid. I super messed up. I forgot about the repeal. Yeah, this is really loose. Yeah, no, that was super loose, and I should have just not done that. I should have just not played it. I just zoned out, forgot about the repeal. Yeah, that was wicked bad. All right. Um, see, this makes three mana, which means if they rip, they can just do it. But then, what's the storm count? The storm count is storm counts two. I I hate. I punted so bad right there. Storm counts two. Stub. They have another one, but if I let this resolve, they can just empty me. They can't empty me unless they hit ant land empty. If I stub this. So we're just going to stub it. They can go Manamorphose Grape Shot. Okay. Remand's pretty. See, this is where we super messed up. We could have beat the Remand. Oh, we fucked up. Okay, ditch another Brawl. What do you got? They see a lot of cards. It's really not, it's not that out of this world for them to hit uh, an empty or a way to kill this angler. <clears throat> they could also just go like grape shot, remain grape shot and kill me but i taught i tossed this bolt me grape shot me yeah i tossed i tossed this here which sucks it sucks to lose a good lose a good matchup like that but i just played like shit which cost me and that's why storm's good you know, like if if you if you miss a beat against Storm, you're gonna lose. And I I did. This is like on me. Because <clears throat> I, if I would have just sat there and um not done anything, then I could have. If I would just not done anything, 
they wouldn't have had repeal, which means they'd have had another dead card, which God, you know, we, we God only knows what that had. Um, we stubbed the Manamorphos. They remand it. And then we can choose to either stub the Manamorphos again, or we can hold it up to stub the Bolt. I likely think that as long as they didn't draw, as long as like the repeal wasn't the last card they would have drawn, then I think I would have got got by the repeal, but we likely wouldn't have died. We'd have had to rebuild, which would have been difficult, but. No, but it was 100% my fault. Uh, this hand on the play. We're pretty land heavy. But we get to Thoughtseize. We get to like one, two, three on the play. I'm going to keep this. It's like it's on the lower, the lower side of keep a roll, but I'm going to keep it. Needs a scalding tarn first. I like it. I think it's pretty pretty margin. Like it's there's not a lot of difference. I think the deck's just well positioned at the moment. There's not as much humans. You're solid against Dredge. You're very good against the, de the decks that beat Dredge. So, like, I think the deck's just good now. The Jun decks are a little harder. <clears throat> especially considering that they, uh... uh especially, I probably should have fetched with this one, because we're, we're more likely to fetch an island than a swamp, because we have these black sources. Like, if we're playing against Burn. <clears throat> um, what was I going to say? The jump decks are a little harder now that they have trophy. Like, there's definitely a chance those that matchup is gone from favored to unfavored, in my opinion. I always get bodied by Bant Spirits, and I I, I think that's just because like I don't sideboard very well against them. Like I, whenever I play against them, I just like feel like I get leveled. I feel like I'm presenting a poor sixty after sideboard, and I don't know what matters. And I hate that feeling. It's the worst feeling in magic is being under underprepared. I allow. Yeah, because you could just go like I mean, as long as you're on the play and you weren't gonna get Liliana, you could just get nasty on two and <coughs> they were up shit creek. But now that now that they have a good answer to Ger to Germag, it's it's tough. Speak of the devil. So we're going to Thought Seize the Phantom. Hang on. Let me look at my top card is. Because if my top card is a removal spell, we might just leave the Supreme Phantom. Water Grave. Spell Queller. The spell color is annoying. The Supreme Phantom is annoying. The Supreme Phantom is probably less annoying than the spell color, but likely they don't get in, they don't like, they just kind of piss their mana away this turn. I think I'm just going to take the Phantom. And like try to play around with spell color. I'm just gonna fetch a tap land. We don't have a shadow. This game's likely gonna go long. We're going to shock ourselves next turn.
We don't want the top card. Opponent's tanking. All right. Stub might change some things. That changes things too. Those are two pretty dynamite draw effects. I'm just going to take the company. Because, like, the company is the card that's just going to get me in the most trouble. And, like, while we have a stubborn denial, it's not turned on. No. Well, now we have to take Drug Skull Captain. And hope to maneuver a way to where we can either stub this or find a threat. Because we need this to trade with this. We need this to trade with this. Nice thing. We could just take the Queller. And make it so they've got to use the drug, like the, they have to play the drug skull captain next turn or not do anything. I really would like to inhibit a flash game from that, like stop it. But if I take this spell queller, the good play from our opponent would just be to not play the drug skull captain. So I'm trying to take the captain. But again, the captain's the card that gets us in the most trouble. And there's also a chance that if we I kind of want to try to like not just bolt this Queller on the spot try to maneuver the game into a point where I bolt it on their main phase and then they try to flash in a collected company that could get me into a little bit of trouble but if I don't have a threat then I'm not really sure like I might have like if we draw Gurmag Angler or Death Shadow then things change a little bit but if we don't draw Nasty or Shadow, then we might be in a bit of a tough spot. So I don't know. Let me get some water, though. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Okay. So I actively don't want my opponent to flash this. Like, I don't want to kill this spell queller on my turn. So I'm just going to shock myself pass. Because, like, am I, am I going to get in trouble here? Because if I attack, they flash it in, and then I bolt it. And then on their turn, they can either company or wait till my turn, then company with four mana or do something else. Because, like, we don't really have very good resources right now, in my opinion. Especially considering this isn't the game. I think I'm gonna attack though. Like the like I like if the problem is if I don't play into this, then my opponent can then deduct, you know, something and then play a little differently. And that's not really how I want to live life here. Yeah, it looks like they're going to play slow. We're going to hold on to this because it turns on this.
I'm not going to attack. <clears throat> yeah, I think yeah, I think that's that might have been like a big brain play, Joe. I'm not going to attack now because this might signal to my opponent that I only have one piece of removal, and the company's decent. I really like this not being the game means I kind of have to do some like finagling. We just get rattle chains to the moon here. But this looks like exactly what's about to happen. Okay, so we let this resolve. I did. Well, that's that's not bad. My opponent's obviously playing around sat, soft stub. The problem is they have three spells in there. I could have gotten absolutely browned by Rattle Chains, but I don't think the decks that play Geist in their main deck play Rattle Chains. Okay. Okay. We're in trouble. We're not in as much trouble. It's so, it's just like, uh, something that's just amazing about playing Death Shadow in general is how much the card Death Shadow bails you out. Like, this card just being massive makes it so difficult to race. So if they're on the Reflector Mage game plan, which some of these decks are, this is bad. We're going to be in trouble here. Oh, Captain, my Captain. So what do we need? We need a Snapcast. We need another removal spell off the top here. That doesn't even do it because they just sack it. We need Battle Rage. Dismember. Battle Rage or Dismember. So we have four. We are on a four outer here. It's not one of them. That is not one of them, ladies and gentlemen. My opponent played really well. Like, I think that they they deducted that I had stubborn denial in my hand, and just found ways to play around it the whole game. Yeah. Like. The card Death Shadow bails you out of a lot of stuff. And I needed the Shadow before turn 7 there. Because with how that game was working, we could have forced a lot more. Alright, so I think we want Lava Man. I think I want Anger. Again, I feel so uncomfortable in this matchup. Brandon, how do you sideboard? Just tell me how we're going to do it. My gut tells me. That's what my gut tells me. All 
don't really have any concrete evidence of why. But I want to bring in removal, but I don't want to be just like mono removal because of collected company. Like we saw that game, how mono removal went. I'm going to give Mr. Dalloway 20 more seconds. The other two cards, the command is like, command's okay. It doesn't hit Spell Queller. So that's kind of it. And it doesn't hit Spell Queller, doesn't hit Supreme Phantom. But the two for one can kind of be nice. The Abrade is also another thing, but I just don't know how much removal I want. All right, this is what we're doing. Whatever dollar flip billabong dude or wasn't there. Dude, Caleb Shear is 9 0 at the GP. What an absolute animal. I hope I hit submit. Yeah, I did. Just kept going longer. Who would like to play first? All right. I mean, this is. We have a death shadow and a, we have death shadow, discard spell, and a removal spell. And lands to cast them. So, like, whatever else is in the hand usually doesn't matter too, too much. Oh, man. We're, so this, this is a little annoying because we have Anger of the Gods in the deck. We're a little incentivized to get a different... We're incentivized to get like Steam Vents and our hand's very black. So I think what we're going to do is we're just not going to make this decision right now. I cut a second Inquisition from the braid. Okay. Because like... We, we kind of want this to be a blue, but like we want this to be blue, black, or black, red in a perfect world. We're just not going to make that decision right now. Okay. We put a card on the bottom, too, which is nice. <clears throat> I also don't like, don't think this is a matchup where turn turn two shadow is like, you know, really exactly what we're looking for. I think I'm just going to fatal push this now because it kind of handcuffs this card. And this is likely going to trade for this at some point anyways. I just might as well not give them the decision. And, like, if my opponent bricks here and then accounts the brick. So, come on. All right, so moment of truth. Probably just Steam Vents. Because we have so many red spells that are very high impact that we just don't want to be handcuffed. I think we just want lands at this point because lands is going to open our hand up and open up our Snapcasters. So like, while those, those two cards would have been great if I would have fetched blue-black. That's, that's the issue that sometimes this deck has. I'm going to just absolutely snap kill a Rattle Chains on site. I would have kept those if my mana base was set up differently. That, that's like the only, that's really the only tension that I have with, uh, with Anger of the Gods. And that only happened because we drew Basic Swamp. Because if that would have been, um, 
if basic swamp would have been any other land in our deck, we would be in a much better spot. This is where things are going to get awkward. A flashed in spell color is kind of annoying here because it turns this on. I guess I should have just maybe it's wrong for me. Like with having three bolts in our deck, Teamer Battle Rage, which is not good right now. Teamer Battle Rage is only going to be good if we draw it in a land. So I really shouldn't think about that. But having three bolts in our so maybe the argument is because there's three bolts in our deck, Anger the Gods, Grim Lava Mancer, Teamer Battle Rage. That I should have just fetched another black source because oh god. Wow, that even turns on the unified will. Jesus. All right, I need a disco. I need like a fetch land guy. So if I just go snap Thoughtseize, that's probably my best play. Because then that's a blocker for this. And I probably just get Blood Crypt so that everything's on the line. I could play Angler Shadow. Is playing Angler Shadow better? If they path my Shadow, if they path my Angler. Probably just Angler Shadow. God, that cuts off both my Snapcaster Mages. Oh, that's so mopey, though. God, playing against Band Spirit. Band, playing against Band Spirit is the hardest deck in the format to play against, I think. At least for me, it is. I can go Snap Thoughtseize to hold this off. I think we're just going to try to flip the script a little bit. Oh, shoot. When in doubt, be aggressive. I don't know what the play was there. Yeah, this this matchup is I don't know, like Brandon Brandon tells me it's good. And like I'm sure that someone's more comfortable with it. Actually it is actually good. But I just don't I feel like I feel like I'm constantly put in positions that are just difficult. To maneuver and like maybe I put myself in that position by getting the steam vents so that I couldn't start double spelling and ditching that thought season that chat. So maybe I like maybe I did that to myself. I should stop ditching. By doing this, they need to play like. They need to play two creatures, right? So you need to have more. It would be sick if we could go Thought Scour into Fetchland to attack with both and get nasty again. That would be sweet.
especially I wonder if we're supposed to sideboard differently. Okay, so what do we got here? You're getting nasty. That's fine. You get nasty, I get nasty, we all get nasty together. Wow. There's got to be a way to just like completely destroy my opponent here. And I've just got to figure it out. <laughs> Fatal push this. Attack with bolt. It's probably just fatal push this. Attack with Gurmag Angler. I'm sorry, this isn't necessarily the most engaging content here, but like, this is just tough. I don't really want to cast Dismember because I want to be able to answer a, I want to be able to answer a spell call. I'm having infinite chunk blocks. This is going to be annoying too. But if I cast, if I attack and I cast two removal spells, I go to eight. They attack me to two. And then I have Snapcaster removal spell up for the next blocker. So I think I'm just going to go pedal to the metal. Because they just are not going to... I don't think they're going to have enough time. Because this is 10-12. 10-10. So it's a two-turn clock. The problem with this... I guess the problem doing it like this... Is that my opponent can now... This is stupid. I think I had to dismember. Because now my opponent can just block with the Geist. I think I fucked up. Yeah, I definitely think I messed up. Now I should have done it the other way. I guess I can still kind of do that. Now there's a chance they can maneuver this unified will. Because if they attack, I'm going to block here and dismember this spirit right now. Because it, it, it makes it so they tap out. If they have... If they have, like, Spell Queller or Path to Exile, then we're in a lot of... Or if, we, if they have Path to Exile, we're in a lot of trouble. But... In order for them to counter this, they have to go Moreland Haunt, make a dude, and then Unified Will. They're tapped out. We kill the Geist. We go to four. Crash in. They have to block. Then we have Snapcaster plus Fatal Push Up. God, this member is so nasty. 
This is why, I mean, I have a hard time cutting Dismember in a lot of matchups just because it, it creates so many really weird sets of games where it both changes the size of Death Shadow in either completely blowing a combat out or cutting your clock in half. And then, on our turn, we just... Okay, so they're going to do the play we talked about. They make a Moreland Hot token. Then the Unified Will this. Okay. Here comes the Angel. We block this. And then I'm going to... I'm going to snap push. Okay, that makes it easy. That was a good hit. I just did all this thinking to, like, draw Battle Rage. If I didn't draw Battle Rage there, I was going to go snap push because they block here, take five, and go to eight. And it just pushes more damage while putting another creature on the board. And then that creature either has the Moreland Hot trade with Snapcaster make. They have no board, basically. It's no board. They're at 8 against a 9-9, nine, nine, a 5-5, five, five, and a 2-2. Two, two. That, that's the most interesting game of the stream, I think, so far. We're going to go with what uh, Big Man Dalloway said. We're going to go like this. <clears throat> but that game was very interesting. It would have been even more interesting. Like, if I hadn't drawn, if I hadn't top deck Battle Rage, that game would have gotten, would have gotten sweet. Yeah, I know that might not have been like the most invigorating gameplay and best stream experience, but like I've got to figure this out because like I, I constantly feel like I get beat beat up against these decks because I don't know what's I don't know what's going on, I don't know what matters. Alright, so this is a turn two angler with a bolt. And we can bolt a hierarch if they lead off on that. I'm also very likely, yeah, so we're going to bolt a hierarch. Our hand is very blue. So I think we're just going to fetch steam vents. Bolt the bird. That was one of the better games of Magic I think I've played in a while. <clears throat> Mausoleum Void. So I think I'm okay trading this Thought Scour for this Wander. So I don't even think I'm going to play my second land. If they just want to... If they just want to trade right off the bat, then I'll see her Visions. Because that's one card, two cards, three cards. And if I find another land, I can still play Gurmag Angler with Stubborn Denial up so that I can handle a Geist.
Bo, how important? Because I would like to try to control when I trade with this Wanderer. So is it better to take the two for one or offer the trade knowing that I have a pretty productive play anyways? Like, how do I not get got by a Geist? Okay, so this makes me want to trade because this is going to win me the game and I don't want this to trade with this. So we're going to Thought Scour myself here, I think. If they want to do this, that's okay. We're going to fetch a watery grave and just serum visions. Okay. Alternatively, I could thought scour. Or I could just set up a third land. Which I'm just going to set up a third land because another red source is going to set us up much better. I don't really think I want either of these. I think I want the fucking... The land, again, the blue red land is just wrecking me. But it's just the presence of anger, angler. I kind of want to bottom both of these because we can handle a company. Because if we hit a third land. We actually can go Gurmag Angler, Death Shadow, and Stubborn Denial. And I think that the upside on that is just worth it. We're going to have to play. We're going to have to have our heads on straight because, oh, wow, they missed. The second Battle Rage is kind of annoying. We're going to do this to give us another look at a card. I don't know of anything they could play here that would shut this out. Okay, great. That is such a great draw. And we're just gonna I think we're just gonna play Angler. Considering they're they're very far away from Collected Company, if I have to use a stub on a path, I'm alright. And like, there's a world where we just go attack with Angler Battle Rage, attack with Angler Battle Rage again. Okay. So now we're in a little bit of trouble. We want more black, probably. So they're hitting their land. Now I feel dumb for bottoming those two cards. I don't know. Maybe I was supposed to just like hope to draw out of it. But if I had kept both of those on top, I wouldn't have drawn out to the second lane. I wouldn't be able to deploy them. And now like my hand's wide open. So maybe I should have just played into the path to exile. But the path to exile then shuffles it away anyway. Ooh, Lava Man's dehees. Okay. Second Lava Man, not as good as the first one. I don't think I'm going to attack. Here goes a spell caller. I am gonna run out the second one though. The problem with attacking here is we still trade. Though it is pretty ballsy for my opponent to block here. Do we need them to do this?
Do I need my opponent? No, because like I can't win. We have another lava man. I mean, the really nice thing is that even though we've got two battle rages, if my opponent plays into one of these battle rages, like they're just like if either of these battle rages resolve, they're it's likely going to win me the game. All right, so now we got to worry about the Coco, which they're going to do in our main phase. That's impressive. That's bold. All right. This Lava Mancer doesn't look that great. So this is four... A good play from them not, not swinging in there. Oh, wow. What does that do? So if I attack with my shadow, bolt drugs call. Let's say they block, they block with two. Bolt Drog Skull Captain. I think I need to get this Drog Skull Captain off the board right now. So if I attack in, how are they going to block? Because I on board can make this a 4 4. So I bolt myself Battle Rage. And they actually don't have enough power to kill the shadow. And I can get rid of both the lords and keep the queller there and save my lightning bolt. Well, no, I bolt myself. No, because of the the first strike. So I can get first strike away the two four. Hey, how's it going? So I can if I first strike away that this becomes. I can trade their board. First strike, four. I can trade their board for Death Shadow and Battle Rage and have two Lava Mancers and play with a Lightning Bolt. I think I'm attacking no matter what. So let's, let's make them block. I should take a I should have taken a picture of it beforehand. Okay, we're just gonna let this go. I could just fire a bat. I could fire one of these off next turn, this turn, just to make it so that the next one's even that much closer to being lethal. But I already did the damage. Okay. That that was that was tough. That's not good. 
So by lava manning myself, probably just lava manning myself. So that next turn I can get over the top of these creatures. And just hope they don't have another path. Oh, that's bad. So that copy's here. Oh, wow. This second... I think that this second battle rage is actually pretty awesome. Jeez. So if I attack and hit myself down to seven... Because I can go... Bolt this battle rage here. Yeah, so. And if they do nothing, we just bolt ourselves in battle rage. I'm sending it in with this lava answer too. We might as well get some points in it. It's not going to do anything for the rest of the game. So now I bolt this, Battle Rage, can I just kill them? If I go 14 minus 5 is 9, so okay, so just bolt this. I don't even have to. I might as well just use these battle rages because, like, it's going to put more pressure on them next turn. Maybe it was wrong of me to just ship in like that so carelessly. So what if their last card is Spell Caller? Their last card is Spell Caller. They just send it in here. I think I just ship with this shadow. Because if their last card is a spell queller and then we attack in, I think we just ship and then not do any and not do any damage. Yeah, I get that. I get that quite a bit. That anger actually doesn't really do anything. Wow. They just don't have anything. <clears throat> so if I just battle rage my shadow now, they sack this chump block with both.
thought they were going to sack. 2-4-2-4. My God, they have a pass. Okay. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. That was insane. God, playing against Van Spirits is, like, so difficult. What is the benefit of battle raging before combat? Because if the battle rage resolves, the game's over. If I attack, unless they have path, which they would have had to just draw and path for that turn, and with having three open mana up and them sitting on a path doesn't doesn't make sense. So they drew Supreme Phantom. <clears throat> By me, battle raging on the main phase, it gets rid of this mausoleum wanderer. They sack it. And then they double chump both my shot. It just informs me of what's going on. If they have something to blow me out here, like I'm, I'm just assuming they don't have path. If they have something to blow me out, then um, they let it. So like if they sack, like my whole thought was that if it resolves, I win, which I guess there's no sense doing it on the main phase. Because they like my whole thought was like I get to trick their I get to figure out what's going on with what my opponent's doing, and because they just sack it and then they're in the double abyss. I guess it was just knowing, but maybe there was no reason. Like the only thing that it matters is that it gets me in one more shot with this Grim Lava Mancer, which I don't really think matters because I think we can tell that they they either have a land in their hand or a die. Because they would have cast this last turn because they had three mana open because we were worried about Spellcaller. Yeah, but I don't know if it was right to do that or not. Now that I think about it more. Like, I definitely wanted to head into combat with a little more knowledge. But I don't know if that knowledge tells me anything besides that I win the game. I'm going to keep this. I don't really like hands like this sometimes. But but it's pretty explosive. And we get to do a bobble trick and we're on the draw. This hand could just like crap out and not do it right now. But I like just keeping this because we know how good this card is. Like if we can get it online, it's just going to like put so much pressure on them. It's Planes Go, I would assume we're playing against some kind of Death and Taxes deck. That's a good one. That's going to let us get nasty next turn, so even if we can't necessarily get the Shadows going. Playing against Banned Spirits is... It's it's my bet it's the most difficult... It's, the, it's one of the hardest matchups in the format, I think. What is this? The Sarkin? Oh, so this is like a sun and moon deck. Do I even... I don't think I really... I don't think I can fetch around Blood Moon. Because I'm going to need more than just a Gurmag Angler. And like, with if I just go like basic, basic, then I'm not going to get any more than the Gurmag Angler. Battle Rage is nice. He waits cast team of Adam in combat. They could single block the mods when they shadow. Counter TBR, avoid diving to triple damage. Let's the block on the other shadow happen. Keeps them in the game. Exactly. Yeah, that's another thing. It just it removes a blocker from combat. We're just gonna like pray we don't get move mooned here. I could leave open a blue. My opponent's likely... I don't think you're playing this deck to not slam in. So let's keep our Snapcasters live. Hey, Nameless. I see you, uh, you climbing the ladder. Climbing the trophy ladder. You just missed the treat. We just played one of the tighter ma ma matches of Magic I've played in a long time. Yeah, dude, you're an animal. 
This is a moon. Yeah. So now we are dead. This is the decision that we made. Because we could have fetched two basics. Yeah, now we're good. We could have fetched two basics in the early game, but I didn't think that, and we didn't have any like stubborn denials or anything. So like the fact that I didn't think that one threat was going to win me the game. Nice. Nice. It does feel really rewarding when you play one of those games. Okay, so this is like a Sun and Moon deck. So I think we want like our counter spells and our ways to answer Chalice. Cards I am not wild about. I'm not really wild about Battle Rage because they're not really going to present blockers. That actually kind of makes me think that I just want interaction. I don't want Battle Rage. Fatal Push is not great. Dismember is likely not great. I kind of just want to go like this. Because this is just max interaction. We're not going to need... I don't think I don't think we're going to have to worry about a chump blocker. So I don't think Battle Rage is needed. Push doesn't do anything. Dismember supercharges my draw. The question is, Dismember better than like... Because if I'm going to keep in... Like, I'll likely board out an angler on the draw and then bring something back in. The question is, do I want Snapcaster Mage? And the only card that I would switch Dismember for is Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, it's red white. So, like, this is how I want to board. In a perfect world, this is what we would do. Because I think the only chump blockers my opponent's going to make that matters are Elspeth. And, like, we're, we're bringing in six answers to Elspeth on the stack. So I think this is what we're going to do. Delray, did you uh, look ahead to any plans, or or is it still... Not quite uh um not quite uh not quite set in stone yet. Not try your list. Who they play first? What do you mean, nameless? Yeah, his hand just doesn't do it up. All right. I'm going to shuffle that away. I'm just going to shuffle it away regardless. I might as well put it on top to send a message. <coughs> I don't like that list anymore. Like I, I, I ran a league for it through it, and I just I just hate. I hate, faith, like, I don't know what it is, but I just really hate Faithless Looting. Oh, I thought we shuffled that away. Guess. And again, man, looting is like, what sucks about looting is that it's either the, the card that, like, like, sometimes it wins you the game, but sometimes it loses you the game because you cast it. I don't want either of these. If you told me I was going to play just, like, degenerate crap, then I would play a lot of lootings. But, like, I think that, like, especially when you play this bobble version, it's difficult to have a, like... What do we got here? You got a chalice me, bud? Well, that's a good reason for Battle Rage. I didn't think about this. God, I hate playing this deck. I lost this deck a little while ago. I hate this deck. 
Now they're just going to have 40 million blockers. What a tilt. We're going to either hold up a stub or we're going to snap Thought Scour. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think it just makes you so much worse. I think you have to cut both of them. Because, like, once your deck becomes, like, Faithless Looting is there to pitch crap. We got a Simeon Spirit Guide, man. Wow. It's actually going to work out, isn't it? Because they only grab one of these. Let's just pray to God they don't hit a land. <clears throat> Yo, we're not going to get moon. Yeah, but our freaking whatever they are are going to be working overtime. We're going to need to hit a land. It's not quite a land, but it's the next best option. All right. Man, these strokes are going to be working. Don't play the Sarkin. Play the Nahiri. They actually should play the Sarkin because this isn't tapped. Oh, are you shitting me? God, it makes me want to just absolutely hurl. All right, well. Now we're going to play the waiting game here. <coughs> oh, I hate playing against decks like this. All right. So we got to wait. Because we have to counter something. We can go snap, stub, if it's stubbable. <laughs> Hard scales is tough. No real option there. So they have three glory bringers? Yeah. We're doing a little less talking today. I'm trying to focus a little more. Cause I, I got like I got regionals this weekend, and I just got to make sure that like I know what I'm doing. I could snap stub this. I might have to save my Snapcasters to look at cards, though. I should have fetched last turn. My Snapcasters might have to become cantrips. If my Snapcasters didn't trade with this stupid Squadron Hawk, I'd be alright with it. Yo, how can you have a 75 ready a week before an event? Alright, 
we're gonna double fetch. I'll give my opponent a fortune clock. <clears throat> I would snap stroke if it didn't trade with this, because then they would just like they would just block it. I'm gonna have to snap stroke this time. Because like I'm, I, these snapcasters might have to turn into threats. The hard part is we know that they got two glory bangers still left. All right, so we're gonna do this anyways. So now we're gonna stub this because this means my opponent's probably likely not going to attack so i might be able to oh shoot god damn it i tapped the wrong one mana blue spell god damn it should i do some visit diligent come on over there come on over to the united states my wife's gonna be gone for like two weeks at some point in the summer what a tail, dude. What an absolute tail. Yeah. This is that's the stream struggle there. I need another shadow. It's probably not a shadow, but it's could be worse. Ooh, what? I'm just attacking them. With absolutely no hope. I'm just like super dead. I hate playing against this garbage. I think we're just dead because I'm pretty sure my opponent has another glory bringer. I guess his Sarkin didn't really matter. He lost game two. <laughs> That's pretty wild. Yeah, I think they have another glory bringer. Yeah, they didn't loot, which is not good. It's like, dude, you don't die to anything. I guess I just like bolt this thing. Oh, wow. I think that was an absolutely insane draw. I bolt this, thought seize the glory bringer, kill the Gideon. Holy shit. And then we kill them with the we kill them next turn. As long as they don't have like two answers. Because I think they have a glory bringer left. And I was a little lazy with the clicking here, but I'm fairly certain they have a glory bringer. No, we're just gonna like. No, we're just going to kill this Gideon so that this Shadow can attack. They don't give a shit about this. We can't beat anything. I think they have another Glory Bringer. They haven't been discarding. All 
right? I guess I should have thought seized first. They could have blocked him with this thing. They didn't have a block. Confused. Okay. Now they oust the angler. Now they oust my shadow. Dude, I'm totally going to win this game. We're just going to send two in here. They have a Blessed Alliance. Oh my god, this is wild. And we'll sack this. We'll sack, like, they'll bless an alliance, and then we'll hit this thing. We have another shadow coming, so we can hit this. Oh, this is wild. Don't wrath the god me, you bastard. I think we beat every, like, I played the shadow out there because we beat most of the other stuff, except we didn't beat wrath of god. They topped up the Wrath of God, too. What fuckers? That's not good. You know what would be really nice right now? No one said, what do you mean overcommit? We give them one draw step. He, he drew the Wrath. He topped that guy. He had one card in his hand. We kill him next turn. We have another shadow coming. That's not overcommitting. And then we could kill him through the Blessed Alliance. I guess we couldn't kill him through the Blessed Alliance. Yeah, he drew the Wrath. He just had Alliance. I guess we didn't have him kill. We didn't have him dead exactly. So we kill one of these. I don't really know what I'm drawing to, to be completely honest. <coughs> it happens to the best of us. All right. So you're saying there's a chance. This is kind of cool how this alliance is like actually really bad. What is this? What are they having six mana for? What the fuck is happening? Oh no, they're trying to do all three modes. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really like if I don't really care if I win this one. I'm I'm sort of like fluttering in and out of thinking. Oh, they gave him life. That's pretty solid. Because we had another shadow coming. And we, like, I don't know. I think the shadow let us beat their hand. It's pretty solid. I think we just ignore this. This isn't going to do anything, Cat. So, like, it doesn't matter who we attack. They see the same amount of cards. Because we either kill the Sarkin, they get two draw steps. We attack them, they get a draw step and a loot. So it doesn't matter. So fuck this Sarkin. Because, like, whatever. Their top card and their second top card down are going to beat me no matter what. What am I drawing to? 
I'm drawing to a stubborn denial or a second threat. Luminous. But they see they see they see the same amount of uh, cards, right? Nameless. Like, if I kill this Sarkin, they get a draw stat. Are you saying that, like, if everything goes wrong, if we're at parity, it's better than if everything goes wrong and they have a plane flyer? That's your argument, right? Then do I cast this? Well, casting the race doesn't do anything, right? To play around another alliance. I don't hate that. I guess, yeah, I guess your point is that they see the same amount of cards either way, and if Sarkin's dead, we can at least play the game more. I should play a land. Fuck. I should have played a land in case he chooses to gain life. God, he actually hit a Blessed Alliance. If this is a Saddle Wreckage, I'm going to hurl. That's, that's, way to go Twitch chat. Land. God, you motherfucker. I'm not going to bolt it because I'll just bolt their face. You might not block. I wouldn't block. If you had played the land, you would have won. Why? Nameless. Did you want more damage? One more damage last turn. Oh, oh. Because they were at 23, 11, 12. Yep. Big brain. I want these battle rages back. I think screw these lightning bolts. I want battle rages because of Squadron Hawk. And we have to be super cognizant of not getting rest in peace out of the game. I could shave an angler, but like having as many threats in play is so important. Like I don't think I'm gonna beat. Well, now I want to like shave and have one more lightning bolt because I want to be able to have different ways to pressure planeswalkers. Am I gonna beat a rest in peace? I think I want like I think I need like to cast street wraith. As bad as that sounds. I almost, like, I'm not even going to lie. I kind of want another Snapcaster Mage. Like, if they're going to have, like, we saw two Blessed Alliances in the top, I don't know, 30 cards of their deck. 
I kind of just want more critters I can cast. That's what we're doing. You've been a good boy. You've been a good boy. If I'm not paying attention to what you are saying, I cannot understand so much information for me in a non native language. Oh, that makes sense. Now you're fine. All right, we're going to keep this hand because we can stub something. It's not great, but we can stub and stroke. We have a redraw, we have a bunch of redraws. Oh, the old Philly boy. We can we can take Twitch chat for a ride. All right, here we go. Oh gosh, this is so much harder than you would think. Philly boy, hey Phil. Philly boy, say hi Twitch chat, Phil. Oh God. There we go. All subscriptions on this channel keep Philly Boy fat. That's what matters. I'm not really going to pop these until my opponent does something because, like, Having cards in my hand doesn't matter because we're either going to stub or thought scour no matter what. I would like to know as many cards as they have. Bless Alliance. All right, so we know they have one of those. All right, show me another Simeon Spirit Guide. If you had a second one, you'd just turn one moon me. Oust. This shadow is not going to do anything. So we know they're drawing an oust. They have an M. Oh, yeah. Let's just take this Sarkin. And then we'll just figure it out. Next turn. So their hands, Bless Alliance, Oust, Oust, Emrakul. Maybe I shouldn't have even cycled that, to be honest. I guess I've just got to like slog through these somehow. I guess I could wait for a stubborn denial. But if I cast this now, and my opponent ousts it, at least they're not like casting a Blood Moon or a Chalice. And like, I, I, I have to slog through these eventually. The problem is, I have to hit so many discard or stubs. That's pretty awesome. It does kind of suck that this is an Inquisition, not a Stubborn Denial. But 
There's a lot of value to also getting the Snapcaster on the field. I kind of just want to take the Owls. No, I'll take the Blessed Alliance and then just attack with the Snapcaster. Maybe that's not right. That sucks. Because it's going to be a little while before we get big angles going. Okay, so hit a land. So here comes the guide. I'm not trading my Snapcaster off. I would, I would be like, if my opponent wants to like race me, then that is that is okay. I'm, I'm not attacking. How many lands have I milled over? Can I actually, can I still cast big angles? Okay. So I've got, I've got one more watery grave and a swamp left in my deck. I'm just going to fetch. Yeah, so we can still cast big angles. The problem, that's another reason for waiting. Okay, so they're drawing a land. You never fetch now, and it's loose against the moon. Okay, you're right, you're right. Yep. No, I, I, I muffed that up. All right, gas. Let's see what's coming. All right, Death Shadow. So we actually cast the Death Shadow. So let's go, we can go Thought Scour, them, Serum Visions, play Shadow, hold up, yeah. Put on top. Oh, shoot. Thought Seize. All right, we're going to put this on the bottom. Because I have to go Thought Seize, Thought Scour them, play two shadows, have Watery Grave up. So now I am going to attack. Calling Tarn doesn't get so on. Yeah, that's just a little thing that I missed. All right, so we're okay with this trade. Now we thought seize. Take this. Thought scour them. Shoot, I miscounted again. God damn it. Son of a bitch. Buy three of the mox with the mono blue. All right, we're just gonna. And it's, is it mono red and a lot of bad luck against Golgari? I gotta figure standard out. Do I even counter this? Does this matter? I almost don't even think this matters. No, it does matter because they attack, attack. Yeah. Force of Fathers. Wow. Yeah, I had to make sure that it was a two turn clock. Because there's an argument to just waiting to hit a Wrath of God. Yeah, way to go, deck. Fuck. Get some. Like, I think if you're at nine, I don't... If I'm at nine... I still counter it if I'm at nine, because my shadows are four, and he just exerts on it. Mm. 
Yeah, no, it's either way, you have to counter it. Yeah, dude, show me that hand. Just, yo, this right here, this is probably one of the better games. This is probably the best match of Magic I've played in a long time. I was playing against Banned Spirits. Yeah, dude. Get out of my face. Heater. Actual heater. Just gonna put that on the bottom. Because people suck. Playing against Abzan. But playing against Abzan, this kind of blows to miss a land drop. Or to Mulligan. I'd rather miss a land drop than Mulligan against Abzan. It's like, whatever. Give me spells. I'll operate on one mana for, this, for a long time. I can take an Inquisition. They Inquisition my Thoughtseize. Let's take this Gideon. Oh, it's so loose, though. So I get Inquisition and Inquisition. They Inquisition me. Probably take my Thoughtseize. And then we can just look to stub a five mana card. We have no good matchups. How are you doing today? There, Ben. Oh, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Give me a land. Go. I think I'm gonna fire this off. I could like hold a stubborn denial, but I don't really want a stubborn denial. Lingering souls. And lingering souls is gonna at least get me to the shadow. Like I think I just want to take this this discard spell. Yeah. <clears throat> Concealed courtyard. We can do some soul power. All right. It's going to be tough working through these souls, but, like, if they attack me, don't do anything. I can, like, push one. I can, like, race a Lingering Souls token. I can race Lingering Souls. The problem with letting this resolve is that they get Gideon Jura next turn. If I draw a land, I'm okay. I probably need to just let this resolve because I'm not going to beat the Gideon. Like, there's maybe a chance that I can put pressure on them if I, especially if I draw another land and I can play with Snapcaster. I probably actually need to save life points. Let's kill one of these. And then I'll just start attacking. All right. That's going to, like, help out a little bit. I think I'm all right with this. And pray for a land. Yeah. Like, there, there's definitely some merit to that. I was just, like, really worried. Because, like, if this thing resolves, I'm never going to land. And I think there's, like, an ever so slight chance that I, that I win.
Yeah, I mean, it's going to be tough. But if this king comes down, I'm never going to win. And I might be able to buy myself enough time here. I kind of just want to stub this because I don't want them to, like... We know three out of the... F yeah, I'm just going to stub this. Like, I don't want to, like, not stub this and then have them not flash something back. They can have a kill spell for my shadow, but whatever. Like, we're not beating... Because, like, they could just not flash this back. This is going to find me a red land because... Because even if I if I hit, all right. Well, I don't know. We might be able to like jam bony something together here. I mean, chewing through this lingering souls tokens, they're gonna win us this game. Oh my god. This means the Gideon's gonna come down. I can't win without the Death Shadow. This sucks. Yeah. Gideon kills the shadow. I guess I shouldn't have done it anyways. Yeah. Yeah, that would, probably, that would have been better. I forgot that this one just goes down to kill things. I just haven't played with this card too enough to... I'd have to, like, pay attention to it more. But we're just, like, I'm just super dead now. I think I was dead if anything important resolved no matter what. But such is life. Okay. Not having last hope is hurts here. I mean, there's not a lot of lingering souls around, so I just cut my last hopes. But it's, it, I mean, it hurts now. I don't like Last Hope right now. I just don't think there's enough graveyard hate for it. I don't even think it's that good against them. Now that, like... Like, I think the Planeswalkers have all gotten way worse since Bloodbraid Elf got unbanned. I probably want... I don't know how to sideboard. Because, like, I could bring in my Lava Mancers, but I, I would have to cut some of my Gurmag Anglers, and I don't think I'm going to win this game without a threat. Yeah, but, like, the last hope is just, like... I think I think that now that they the Jundex have like now that they have like trophy and like I think I think trophy pushes it over the top even more. Like and the the fair decks, the blue decks just go over the top of it. So the Traverse Shadow deck is much more linear. It's much more like I play this game very well and I'm gonna beat you at this game. The problem is, is like, so like I can sit here and play these Lava Mancers, bring these Lava Mancers in, but these Lava Mancers sig are, say that I want to play a longer game because I have to cut some Gurmag Anglers, and I do not want to play a longer game against the deck with Lingering Souls, um, Knight's Whisper, and Planeswalkers. Like I almost just want to bring these in.
and shave this Because I can't, I can't leave Lava Man in with Dermag Angler. I don't usually like sideboarding and surgical extraction in games like these, but like I just don't have very many good answers to Lingering Souls, so I'm just gonna do it. I have liked, I have liked having surgical in my board, just purely for like the synergy that it has with Death Shadow and the synergy that it has with, um, the synergy that it has with uh, Dermag Angler. I've definitely had games where I've like just surgicaled anything that I could surgical on turn two in order to play like Shadow plus Angler. Peter. Not bad. All right, I think I want an Inquisition no matter what. Well, there might. Let's see. Let's see if there's a second land on top of my deck. The problem is, even if there's a second land, all right, we don't have to think about it. Yeah, the four color shadow deck is much, much leaner and meaner. It like the four color shadow deck is better against degenerate decks. All right, we're gonna take the removal spell and try to find a way to deal with this. I guess if I had a surgical, I would have taken this and just surgical it and then just tried to figure everything else out. It's so messed up that like Lingering Souls allows you to be like a creature deck that can also play. Wrath of God, not care. It's like it just doesn't matter. You wrath away half your lingering souls, it doesn't matter. Okay, so that's what they drew. Two, three, four. Okay, we can't quite do it. One, two, three, four. This kind of sucks. Because if I just want to fire off a surgical, but I don't really want to do that. So there's one card we don't know. It's really going to suck if it's a way to deal with this angler. But I'm pretty sure it's just what we're going to do. God damn it. It's a way to deal with this angler. <clears throat> Why not play Shadow? Because... I'm not going, like, the Stubborn Denial is not turned on. I want to save the Stubborn Denial for one of these two cards. I don't want to have to stub this Lingering Souls. Like, I have to let this resolve because I have to deal with these two. So, like, the Shadow is just less of a clock. And I'm not going to do anything with it. So, like, I, I was just figured I'd be mana efficient. Better set a stop on their draw step. Blood Crypt. And I think I'm going to take two life to do this. Because if I draw a Snapcaster or another Stubborn Denial, then we're in it. Hopefully they drew one. That would be gas. 
<clears throat> okay, so they're just drawn lands. I hate how this doesn't. I wish they would just keep the entire deck in the revealed realm. They have Shalai's. Wow. They brought in Stony Silence. That must just be an accidental. Like they clicked on it instead of it being a rest in peace. I'm going to stub whatever they stub here. Because if they play Wrath and I don't stub it. Tony Silence, you you are you are right about that. Jesus. That's nuts. I don't think we're I think we're just gonna chew through this lingering soul token. That's the absolute stone cold nutter butters right there. So my opponent played the swamp and the Gideon. God, ask me what it's like. So they hit events. They're totally going to attack, too. Like they're not going to cast this and then wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm so good at this game. I'm going to save this bolt for a shambling event. A restart moto. <clears throat> they played Shambling Vent, Wrath of God. So they have Godless Shrine and One Unknown. That's pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie, we've hit we've hit some good ones here. So now we can go bolt, snap bolt. They hit another wrath that's going to kind of blow. So fetid heat. So they drew that. You got it, man. I think we got him. Let's save a wrath. Save a wrath and you said. Shambling boy. Who wins? One shambly boy. Alright, so what is this? Do I even have to bolt this thing? 10, 12? No, we're good. I'm going to flash in the Snapcaster Mage in case this play on like Slaughter Pact. Because they Slaughter Pact this, then we just Snap Bolt them. Uh, whatever. I'm going to want to Snap. I'm going to want to Snap Bolt this at some point. Which means I should have just done it anyways, but like whatever. Now we beat Slaughter Pact. Drew another bolt. Sweet. 
You know, like, God only knows why there's a stony silence in play. Shuts off bottle. I appreciate all the followers today. I've, I've been a little lazy on it. We've got Pizza Cool, The Disheveled Casual, uh, Ryankin, Shiviato. We had one sub. Gas. All right, I think we're just going on full moron go plan. Um, kind of want another bolt. Do we see a rest in peace? What do we see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. All right, we're going to bring in Disdainful Stroke. We're going to get these lightning bolts out of here. This is going to be the clunkiest hand I've ever seen. Clunkiest I've ever seen. Um, There's no rest in pieces, but do we just want to assume that there, these stony silences were... <laughs> meant to be rest in pieces they just made an accident made a mistake my post deck just does not function if you can get rid of lingering souls yeah they must have just grabbed the wrong white enchantment how's it going ped for i guess Problem is, there's nothing else that I really want. All right, I think we're gonna submit this, and then depending on the time, I think I'm gonna run to the bathroom. I do have to pee. Well, we have 10 answers to a turn two red. I've been streaming for about three and a half hours and I haven't started Moto over. I'm gonna try to remember to do that. How much time do we have here? I have 15 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna run to the bathroom. Hey buddy. I don't think I keep this hand. I don't have a threat anyways. If I had like a death shadow, then I would like think like if this was a death shadow, I wonder if you keep this hand. Nameless, would you keep this hand? What about you, Teddy? If you had if this was a death shadow, would you keep it? On the draw on seven.
I think I'm gonna keep this. Like we saw, like I don't think my opponent's deck can actually function without Lingering Souls. And if we can remove Lingering Souls from the situation and we hit a land, like we get two looks at, we get 17 hits at two looks. We've got 21 for another redraw. This card's nuts. We're not going to cast this. We're likely going to be able to figure out what we're doing. I'm going to keep this hand. Peter. Watery grave, watery grave, Inquisition of Kozilek. Ooh. There's definitely a chance I surgical that next turn. That's what they drew. Especially if it turns my shadow on. Yeah, I'm going to surgical that. Figure out the wrath of God later. My opponent says, ouch. Your whole deck hurts me. I'm still in a lot of trouble. They so avoided the rips. My opponent boarded out Stony Silence and boarded in Rest of Peace. So they just they just missed that. So, the problem is, if I play Angler, I think I'm just going to play Death Shadow. I forgot to take a picture. Because maybe there's a chance that our opponent doesn't go for it. So another hand is land, wrath of God, Stubborn Denial, Discard Spell. Not a bobble. Let's see what our top card is. If it's a stub, then we, we might be in business. It's a stub. Holy shit. Holy shit. I got regionals next weekend. Then I've got um this is a nuts. We drew like a motherfucker in these last two games so far. I'm
I mean, that bobble that I drew was a stubborn denial. Teddy. Land here be gas. I don't know my opponent's hand anymore. Unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to regionals. I'm going to the SCG in Baltimore and the Invitational. And that's what I have for big events. Uh, shrink can. Tilt. That's not, well, it's still pretty bad. I mean, more lands is always good with Snapcaster Mage. Come on. Ooh. All right, let's take the more expensive one. Let's take the one that's convenient to cast. We got to fade here. If we fade here, we can snap Inquisition this damnation. We faded. Or snap thoughts use damnation. And then we're like, we're doing it. We're kind of doing it. We're pretty far off of... Jesus. I guess we just get on the battlefield. Because our stub's not going to do anything. Puts us further away from Angler, but like... At least if we do this, we're on the battlefield, and we might be in a position where we only have to one-shot my opponent to kill them now that we have this battle rage. I don't think this, ang this anger was horrible to side in. Like, you've got to find... Like, I can't beat their deck and Lingering Souls. Now we're a million miles away from anger. From anger of the gods. Whoa, they hit that. That's wild. That's got to be a misclick. I'm going to go with they misclick. Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. Thing is, we can just hold on this angler. And just, like, hope we fade one more draw step. Alright, that's not the end of the world. We have to play Angler with Stub back up next turn. Hang on. If my opponent goes to cast Lingering Souls, I'm not going to Stub it. So, I might as well I'm not going to stub Lingering Souls. I'm just going to let that happen. So I might as well fetch a tapped Steam Vents.
just to help out my Dell. This also makes it so my opponent hits Field of Ruin. I think I'm still okay. We can do that next turn, right? Okay. Because if my opponent fields me here, that's why it's still okay. Because if my opponent fields me, they're still like in the pseudo abyss. Because they can't just crash with everything. They actually have to hold back two blockers. If they go field into field, I'm in trouble. No, they don't. Because of the battle rage. Like, there's no reason to go anger into anger. And now they're dead. But they, they had to block, like, they had to hold back two there to not be dead because of the battle rage. Because, like, if they rip whatever it is, if they rip Gideon, if they rip any of their Planeswalkers, there, we're super dead. This is a shit attack from my opponent. I think. Because, like, our plan beat the board and the top of their deck. Unless they draw Shalai. If they draw Shalai, if they draw Shalai, we were in trouble. All right, last match of the day. I think we played, like, I think my opponent played the game correctly. We can't win, but I think we played correctly, Teddy. I mean, we drew like a mother, like a like one son of a gun in this last game. Let me tell you what. Like we hit, we had to hit, but I think because like, dude, I can't let this deck go. I feel like I was born in it. Or the shadows like Venom. Got my nerdy computer glasses on. Feeder. Not really. But we get to do the bobble trick. Like we're gonna be able to put four cards in the graveyard, so fetch line we can get nasty. Ink Moss. Oh, God. I hate playing against this deck. Now I wish we had a Death Shadow. I'm gonna look at my look at my top card here. It's a polluted delta. I might cycle my street wraith. All right, battle rage is step one. These glasses are so nice. Whenever one or more plus one plus one cards are put on a permit you control, you may create one. So is this is this how this works? 
All right, well, we're going to dismember this with this trigger on this guy. Oh, no, shoot. I have to do it now. Oh, God damn it! I thought they had to pay for it. I was thinking they had to pay for it and then do it, but that's not what happened. I kind of just want to hold this dismember because, like, if I cast it, I think I'm going to lose. And I would like to just, you know, knock the top of my deck and find Death Shadow and then cast it in conjunction with Teamer Battle Rage, kill my opponent. Dude, these glasses, these glasses are so nice. They look super nerdy. But they reflect suns like they just make it so if you play moto all day, your eyes don't hurt. Yeah, I'm super dead. Yeah, I, I gotta find Death Shadow. This fucking animation module is just gonna like body me. I have to like shock myself to hold up stun. Because if they get if they hit with uh if they put a hardened scales in play, I'm just like super dead. I just like can't really attack. Yeah, the, you definitely should get computer glasses, Tanner. For the amount that you stream slash play magic, they help so much. They're kind of expensive, but you can look into them at like Gunner Optics. Walky boy, that probably kills me. Maybe my opponent will muff it up. They have blues, so they have counter spells at their sideboard. Dude, we're so screwed. Yeah, so. Uh, like the only way, I think the only way we can reasonably beat this deck is like. Battle Rage. Battle Rage Shadow, like, quickly. Like, turn four. Oh, my God. I forget how sick this engine is. Definitely a chance this just kills me, but there could be a death shadow right here. Oh, that's not bad. It's kind of the next best thing. We should just right now while this is tapped out. We're gonna push this. Yeah, let this go. Because if we respond to this, they just sack a bunch of artifacts and move it over to the Ballista. <clears throat> Our like only way to win here is if my opponent like goes ham nation on this ballista, I think. Okay, so what happens if I I just go snap hit there block? Okay, so now we just snap push this ballista. And then we block here. Like, we're going to have problems. We still have many problems. Hit this. 
we're tapping out, so like the defenses are. Do they have on board even through all the removal that I had going on there? So now we block this. They, they can give it a counter, but they can't do anything else. If I were them, I think I'd offer the, the trade for the angler. They could just fire up also. Which appears that they're going to do. I was going to eat this. This means they have another ballista. No, I'm just going to put a counter on it. Okay. I miscounted the mana they had. Uh, what? How, what did they get? Oh, it's three, not four. Okay. All right, so we just All right. Hardened scale, all right. So we just Walkie boy for three. You got it. I could have stubbed that. Jesus Christ. Well, I was dead even if I stubbed that. But I didn't even think about it. I guess that's three hours and 45 minutes in. Because, right, if I stub that, then they just turn everything sideways and kill me. Yeah. Dead either way. Yeah, I was dead out of the way, but I didn't think about it. It was just dumb. Oh, I just have no idea how to do this. Yeah, dead out of the way, but I just missed it. Just being a little tired. All right, this is how we're going to sideboard. I don't really know how to sideboard against this deck. I don't think my step, my step in denials are literally only good against the card hardened scales. We're on the play, so let's hope we can get under it with a discard. I'm going to board similar to what I do against humans and try that. On the draw, I'm probably still going to board the same against humans because I can't. Um, I can't. Uh, I can't stub anything on the draw. But I'm going to go with Stubborn Denial is not where we really want to be. We got the Abrade. It took us a hot minute, but we got it. It's going to be my last match of the day. I'm getting a little tired. I'm going to take the dog to the dog park. Okay, I would like to play first. This hand's pretty solid. I think I'm going to keep it. Like, I have to hit a second land, but I have Disruption. Grim Lavamancer is really good. I have a threat. It's going to be hard to play it all, but I really want Thoughtseize on one into Lavamancer. Just being able to hit a hardened scale, I think, is really important. Like, I don't... Like, Lavamancer is so good. So, Lavamancer and, and Angler are going to fight each other. I think I'm going to ship it. Yeah, I'm going to ship. These two are just, like... An anti. Uh, the one that, yeah, we saw. Yeah, this isn't going to do it. Well, it might do it. 
So if they just have a creature draw, we might be able to win. Um, <clears throat> Dude, don't. Son of a bitch. Mox. All right, well, at least we can do that. I'm giving Death Shadow Bobble. I can't play my Death Shadow on two. Ooh. Like, you can't keep that hand. Yo, this anger is sweet. It's also going to shut off the opal. I'm going to get another blood crypt because I want to be able to cast multiple black spells. I don't have as many blue. I don't have as much blue in my deck. After sideboard. I'm going to shock with this one. We just want to be able to eventually deploy a death shadow. Put faith in the bobble and scry. Even the bobble and scry. I don't have interaction. I don't have a way to play my death shadow until turn three. I don't know. Steel overseer. Oh, gross. Let's take a look. We have to push the Ravager. Which sucks I have to push the Ravager because they're just going to like sack, sack, sack. Yeah, I'm not really worried about it. If they, if they move this over the Steel Overseer. So. It could have been another Anger, yeah. So if I would have Angered, they could have gone sack everything to the Overseer. And that likely turns out better for me. So they pump this. Yeah, fucking A. The problem is the Ravager, like the Ravager just, if they let the Ravager live in combination with this Inkbot Nexus, they're just going to kill me. I mean, this is likely going to kill me anyways. They're not a bad mold of five, to be honest. Welding jar. Welding jar is probably game. I could have definitely, there's definitely a chance I didn't play this game like as well as I could have. I'm, I'm a tad tired. I could have missed something here. All right, we can hit dismember. No, because they put a counter on it. Maybe they won't go for it. Maybe they'll be afraid. Not yet. <clears throat> All right, we're good. No, I don't like this is a tough matchup here. I don't really know. It's hard to play against this deck because it can just kill you out of nowhere also. So what did I do? I went 7-3 and three today on stream. No, I didn't stream the first two matches. But I went 4-1 and one and 3-2 and two in my two leagues. I'm tired. After those, those two middle matches were, were like pretty exhausting. 
So let me go back here. Okay. I kind of like this deck. I'm really not sold on this Abrade. It's the only card that I don't really like. But besides that, I think it's pretty sweet. I think this is likely something pretty close to what I'll play. Like, the only two cards I'm kind of medium about are this and this. I know Emmanuel Gershwin made it. He, the guy that won round four on camera. I think I'm going to, like, the only two cards, I think this is, like, 72, uh, or 73 of the 75 plays uh, this weekend. Like, I don't know if I'm going to do maybe something different with this upgrade and this collective brutality. Like, if I think the Jun decks are going to be that good, then I might play, like, a Jace. Jace is still not great. Like, for similar reasons why <clears throat> Jace, why Liliana Last Hope is not good against Jun, Jace is similar, but Jace does bury you bury people much faster than Liliana does. So, oh, I appreciate the host, everybody coming over. We're actually on the way out today. Um, we just hit, we just finished up our second league. Went seven and three today. I didn't stream all the games though. I was doing some other, I was, uh, my wife, while well, my wife was here this morning, I just had some coffee and Hung out with her a little bit. Oh, uh, you guys can't. I always forget you guys can't see this because of where my head is. Let me just move this here. I'm going to send y'all over to my friend here. So let me just write that up. <coughs> Backslash host. D C M I K E L C C three. I'm gonna send you guys over, my buddy. Please check him out. Give him a minute or two of your time. Hit a follow button if you like that. But yeah, like uh, Jace. Jace is like Jace is good. Like I don't know if it's what I'm gonna do or not. It'll be over one of these two cards. I'll figure it out. But I'll see all you guys next time. I hope you all have a good rest of your day. I'm sending you over to my buddy. So please check his stream out. I appreciate it. Besides that. I hope everyone has a good rest of their day, and I will see you on Wednesday.